we always wish to make the drawing of our favorite people whether they are our parents or someone special in our life or our favorite actors but we just step away from making the drawing because we believe that we don't have the drawing skills but with the help of photoshop you can also make the drawing today i am going to teach you how to make the drawing from a photograph hello welcome to my channel this is jubair today you are going to learn how to make the drawing from a photograph of salman khan this is the fourth video of my artwork design series before i start the tutorial i would like to request you please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notifications for all the videos so let's quickly jump into the tutorial so we are going to create the pencil drawing of salman khan and we are having this image to make the pencil drawing effect in photoshop and we know that this is the still image from Salman Khan's upcoming movie Dabang Tree. So before we go into start making the pencil drawing effect, we need to make sure that the image that we are using is having necessary pixel dimension. So we need to have minimum uh, 2000 pixels width and height. If it is not there, we have to increase the pixel dimension. So now I changed the width to 2000 pixels and height is 1500 okay and just unlocking the background by double clicking here okay so we got this so the primary thing that we need to do in this exercise is to remove the background for that I'm going to use uh, quick selection tool and uh, as you know that I have explained in many of my previous video about how to remove the background so I'm not going to or give a detailed information about this in this video so now we got the background removed and anytime you can disable the layer mask and see the background okay so that is there and I am making a copy of this particular layer by pressing ctrl J okay for the time being I am just hiding this underneath layer and for this layer I am going to remove the color from this layer for that I have to apply desaturate so go to image adjustment desaturate okay now what I am going to do is I am going to make a gradient background for this layer so now we got it like this now what I'm going to do is I am going to combine these two layer by selecting both the layer after selecting these two layer I'm just making these two layer into a smart object so just right click here and convert to smart object now I am going to make a copy of this particular layer okay and just hiding this copy and I'm going to work with this particular layer okay so for this layer I'm going to apply a filter go to filter filter gallery see I'm going to apply called crayon effect okay you can adjust the foreground and uh, background level so I'm going to give our foreground into 10 and background into 2 or I'll give the equal value so now I am going to work with this layer so I am just uh, enabling this layer and before applying any effect to this particular layer I'm just making a copy of this layer by pressing ctrl J or just right click and duplicate layer okay you can rename anything as you wish okay now it less I am just uh, hiding this uppermost layer and I'm going to work with this for this layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply another filter which is uh, in other and that is minimum I'm going to apply this particular filter okay see it will give a very uh, sharp edges and you can actually adjust the radius into any value but I'm going to keep it as uh, 3 no I'm going to keep it as 2 only Okay, so we will be getting a very sharp and just apply ok and you have to change 
the layer blending mode into color dots so now we got it like this next we are going to apply another filter to this layer and I am just unhiding this layer so before applying any uh, filter to this particular I'm just making a backup of this layer by right clicking the duplicate layer okay and I am hiding this layer and I'm going to work with this layer so here I am going to apply another filter from the filter gallery so go to filter filter gallery this time I'm applying the glowing edges effect okay so the glowing edges effect is there and you can increase the width of the glowing edges into 2 and the brightness into 18 smoothness into 12 okay so we got this and now this is in an inverted form so we have to invert this particular layer but if we are trying to invert this from the image adjustment will not work because we have made this as a smart object so any of the image adjustment will not be working directly instead we have to apply uh, an adjustment layer and go to adjustment and invert okay so this got inverted but this invert effect will work to all the underneath layers so I just want this to be working only for this particular layer so just right click here and make create clipping mask so this will only work with this particular layer now I am going to change the layer blending mode of this particular layer from normal to I am making this as multiply okay so we got it like this and next I am going to apply another filter to this particular layer so I am unhiding this and here I am going to apply another filter from the filter gallery and this time I am using the sketches okay from here I am going to apply charcoal okay just zooming out got it like this and we have to make changes to the charcoal thickness into one and the detail into five and light dark balance into 50 okay that is 85 is okay and i'll make this thickness into two itself okay now i'm going to change the layer mode into multiply so for the time being we got this output and this is almost done but we have to make further changes by applying some levels and uh, curves so i'm going to apply uh, an adjustment layer for levels okay so the level and i'm going to first try with this auto level so if it is working better this will be okay but I'm going to make this little bit uh, bit torn brighter so it will be like this and uh, little more to this okay if I'm increasing the mid-tone it will get more grains and uh, more uh, gray shades so I'm just reducing the mid-tone okay now I'm going to play the curves from the adjustment layer I'm going to play the curves and uh, you can make it as linear contrast okay so it will be like this or we can increase the we can actually make the lighter contrast so this will be more lighter see after applying the adjustment layer we got it like this if I'm disabling this uh, if I'm disabling this it will be like this okay so we need this adjustment layer and now we have almost done the pencil drawing effect but if you want to make further more enhancement to this particular work uh, see what we can do is we can make some changes into the background so I'm going to double click the this particular layer and this is a smart object so whatever changes I am making here in the smart objects it will be reflector so I am just changing the gradient see 
see I am going to add another layer above this particular layer so create a new layer so on this layer I am going to apply brush tool so select the brush tool and uh, I'll be selecting a pencil brush so I'll be selecting this and uh, I'll make changes to the spacing here okay and uh, increase the opacity okay I'll just brush randomly okay now I'll uh, reduce the opacity of this layer into 50 to 20 okay just like this and I'll be creating another layer above this particular layer okay and I'll be just applying a white a gray scale color brush here okay and i'll change the brush type to this and we'll be changing the spacing okay i'll reduce the opacity of this particular layer into 20 okay now just close this so it will ask for the save okay just save it and uh, you'll be getting the updated layer in the original image see now we got the final output see we started from uh, this particular layer okay see let me just uh, disable one by one you can see how we started and what we got in final see we started from this layer and then we applied this and see after applying so many filters and so many procedure we got the final output like this so this is the pencil drawing effect of salman khan from his movie the bunk tree so this was the fourth video of my artwork design series and you have made the drawing of our favorite bollywood actor salman khan from his photograph so that's all for today but before i signing off i would like to ask you please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the notification i will see you in the next video till then bye